little about how these college players um, deal with their daily lives and and what they got to go through. Um, you know, maybe some areas you can talk about is distractions. Uh, one we've already talked a little about is the social media, but uh, I know personally when I went through the time, you know, there's that social part aspect to it, you know, where hanging out with, with other, uh, whether it be teammates or other students in the, in the school, uh, going to the bars, uh, other, there's other things to do as well as the college um, athlete and students. So maybe we can touch on their daily life and, and what uh, some of these young players and some of the parents can, um, you know, prepare for. Yeah. No, it's definitely, there's, um, there's a lot of things going on during a day and for a college athlete. And I think it's about managing your time and learning how to handle things and pick your spots and maturing as a kid. And, and that's whatever, like no, a regular college student has to do that as well too. So, um, I mean, our guys, obviously you're usually, you have one to three classes a day and we expect our guys to, to be at every single class. And obviously some guys are, naturally smarter than others and some have to work a little bit harder but if you put the time in college and I'm sure Brandon you can attest to this I can attest to this like if, if you're going to class and you're working hard you're, you're gonna do fine and obviously if you put in a little bit more work or if you have natural smarts you're gonna be a little bit more successful um, but I do think for a college athlete like it is an asset having teammates that are maybe taking a class with you so you guys can study together you can go to class together Maybe you're in group projects that helps that you're on the time that kind of the same class kind of schedule and time management schedule when you're not at practice, you guys can work together. So it's not crazy from that end. And obviously you're, you're at the rink for a few hours a day, whether that's practice or video or skill development, the um, weight room. I mean, we're, we're lucky enough here at UMass that we have two ice sheets that we can take advantage of. And we work it around our guys' schedules. If, we have some guys that are rink rats that we literally have to like take away their skates and their sticks so they don't go on the ice or try to shoot pucks. And then there's other guys that we're like, Hey, like let's come on with them when we're working with our D or working with our forwards or working with our special teams. So managing your time on that, on that perspective. And then obviously there's a social side where um, hanging out with teammates or other athletes or people in town. Amherst is an awesome college town. So there's, there's things to do here. Um, and obviously you can get sucked into those distractions, but a lot of it we, we try to do with our recruiting process where we know kids are coming here for what we see as the right reasons, where they want to be a really good, good student. They want to be a really good hockey player. They want to be a good teammate. They want to be good in the community. So when they come here, they, they understand what's expected of them. Um, and obviously there's going to be those extra, uh, distractions, but you got to kind of push them to, to the side a little bit and focus on, on what you're here to be here for. And um, a lot of our guys obviously are on scholarship and you're getting uh, a really strong ac ac academic package here and you're getting that thing paid for, like you better earn it. And um, you're here for a strong mix of being a student and an athlete and a, a good member in the community. So um, a, lo a lot of our guys handle it really well. And obviously there's a transition when you're coming in, most of our guys are coming in from junior hockey. so just getting into that routine and it takes a few weeks, but once you get into it, um, or you really, really can excel and you enjoy it. And no different than in pro hockey where you've got your daily routine it takes a little bit of time. At least it did for me when I got to pro hockey, kind of getting in that daily routine, that game day routine, the practice routine. Once you figure that out, like you kind of embrace it. Like I saw something um, with Nicholas Lidstrom. I mean, he played so whatever, I think it was 20 plus years in the NHL and, he had the same routine when he went to the same cities, ate the same meals. And um, some people can find that boring and some people can love that and embrace that. And I think you have to do that when you're a high level athlete, you have to have routine. Uh, it builds comfort, it builds stability. And if sometimes things go a little bit array, um, then you find ways to, to adapt and whatnot. But if, if every day you're doing 6 million different things a different way, like it's kind of hard to get laser it in and focus. So um, we really put a premium on our guys getting into a, a nice routine here. And, um, and I think that leads to success on the ice when you have a good routine off the ice. Yeah, for sure. Um, big part to being a 
person or even college athlete, student athlete um, is balance. Really, really important to be able to handle that. And I remember I've made my mistakes uh, in college and, and continue to do so, just trying to figure out how to balance different things. Um, there's, there's plenty of different things that I had never been out east uh, when I went to Quinnipiac and being basically halfway between Boston and New York City, you know, you can, some weekends you have a way or, or some, whether it be Saturday or Sundays that you have days off, you can take the train in early in the morning and, and go around the city checking things out, which, which players should do. Um, you know, it's a great experience to, to get out there and be a tourist and, and, and learn and see different things. Um, but just, yeah, handling the workload, the hockey and yeah, the, I guess the student aspect of it at school. Yeah. No, like, like you said, Brandon, I do, we, we do feel it is important for our guys to have a social life and be around people that they want to be with and meet new people and experience different things. And um, like you said, whatever, we're, we're in Amherst, Massachusetts here. So we're not too far from Boston and New York's not too far along, but we, if we have a weekend off or, we're in the, our season's over with, like, I think it's awesome for our guys to get the chance to, to go to Boston or go to different colleges or meet different people to broaden your horizons and, and learn some things and experience things. And that's, that's part of going to college. Like that's a, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And um, I think our guys really cherish it. And I know whatever I, I really enjoyed my four years of college. I wish I could get those four years back and go back in time and hop into a time machine and, um, Cause just because it's, it's a really, really fun experience and you get to do things that uh, you don't really uh, have, uh, you don't have a job. It's not a nine to five, you know, like if you want to sleep in a little bit, if you, you have some flexibility in your life that you can do a few different things that once you hit the real world, it's not, it's not the same. 